It is rare, but the New York Times nailed its headline in a recent piece about the Nashville shooting. An American tragedy in Nashville, it says. What's not rare is getting the story so very wrong. The author, Margaret Ranke, railed against Tennessee lawmakers who, over the past years, legislated laws to expand gun rights. She claimed all kinds of things, like Tennessee has the most permissive gun laws in the country. But read through the entire piece, she doesn't really name any of them, not one, yet she ends her piece this way. Here's what we do know, because Republicans in the Tennessee General Assembly, owned lock, stock, and soul by the National Rifle Association, will not require people here to register their guns. Register their guns, she says. There you have it, one of the left's dream laws. You wanna talk about soul? From the bottom of my soul, I will always oppose any registries for guns for one simple reason. When it comes to my rights, it's none of the government's business. She goes on to write this. Four beautiful young people with their whole lives ahead of them are being mourned by an entire city and all the thoughts and prayers in the world will not bring them back to us. She takes two jabs at the NRA here. First off, the NRA doesn't own anyone. The people elected those leaders in Tennessee, a state that wants pro-gun lawmakers at the helm. She can't fathom that. So in essence, the writer mocks these pro-gun Americans as not possibly understanding what they want or need. It must be the NRA's fault. The second jab comes with the thoughts and prayers line. The left hates when we offer them to victims. But if we don't, they go crazy. Victims deserve all of our thoughts and prayers. But then again, we know most of the left-wing atheists at the Times don't believe in prayer anyway. What is a tragedy is that a stranger would shoot four other strangers. What is a tragedy is that once again, law enforcement and the law failed here. The author wants to believe that laws enacted by government can solve everything. This proved they can't. You will never regulate evil out of existence. You can take away every gun in America and murderers will still murder. I want every law-abiding American to have a chance to fight back. A gun is just a tool that gives them a chance of survival. The left's constant attack on common sense is the other American tragedy out there, a tragedy the left refuses to acknowledge.